Hi everyone, I'm Anderson Jack Microsoft from UP. Today I would like to share with you with Azure Web Performance Test. Before we start, we need a Microsoft Azure account that you can get from Microsoft Azure website. You can get one month free trial or you can activate it from your MSKN subscription benefit. On the other hand, we also need a Visual Studio Team Services account to keep your Pokemon test history great your new account when you set up your Pokemon test or use an existing account you, you are the account owner The last one is deploy your app for testing in a non-production environment have your app use and app service plan other than the plan used in production because you don't expect any existing customer or scroll down your app in production. The Microsoft Azure account and Visual Studio Team service you can activate from your MS DN subscription if you are an MS DN subscriber. Why we need web performance test? This is the three question. Is that your application run fast as you are expected or your performance is getting better or worse, or your code generating error under the loop. I give you some case study in a real world demo probably related to e commerce. For example, suppose we have an app that gave up open at last year holiday sales. This event lasts for 15 minutes with a big loop of 100 concurrent customers. We want to double the number of customers this year. We also want to improve customer satisfaction by reducing the page load time from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. So, we will test our update app performance with 215 users for 15 minutes. We simulate load on our app by generating virtual users that refer to customers who visit our website at the same time. He will show us how many requests are failing or responding slowly. Let's start the demo. Okay, at first you go to the web app, click here, browse the app, show for the store I/O that I created before. Now you can see your website performance or monitoring. You select a tools. Then search for performance test. Then you will see uh, I have run uh, six performance tests before. If you are first time, you need to set up the account for Visual Studio Team Service. The first time you do this, you will inform that you need to either create a Visual Studio account or link to an existing one. Then at new, I tell you at the right hand side, you will see a new performance test set, set up. The first one is the URL, the public URL that the performance test should hit. It will be default be set to the URL of the current Java app, but you can change this. The new, the second one, the new. The name of this particular test run, as you will see, all test runs are stored and available in the Pokemon test plate of your Azure app, so give it a descriptive name. I change to Pokemon test 7 because at the previously I got 6 Pokemon tests. Generic loop form. Generic loop form is for you to select from which region that loop should be generated from, 
Sarah, the one most closely represent the origin of Odisha. My country is much more in a Southeast Asia than a Southeast Asia. The fourth one is the user loop. User loop is referred to the number of users should hit your website. While this feature is in public view, you don't have to pay for running the loop test, but there were some limits is how much loop you can generate. You can get 20k virtual user free each month with your Visual Studio Team service account. A virtual user means is the number of virtual user multiplied by the number of minutes in your task. If you will need assist the free limit, you can purchase more time and pay only for what you use. The last one, the duration minutes. Specifically for how long that the loop that should be run. Run this fill out, hit the run task at the below, hit run test to start the loop test. This will give the performance test and then start spinning up the necessary resources in Azure for running the loop test. Now you can see the performance test 07 in queue. Clicking on the test run, you will see the information start to come in after a short period of time, showing the number of requests generated and some key performance characteristics of how your application behaves under pressure. Of course, this type of loop testing does not cover all your needs in terms of creating realistic user loop, but it is a great way to create some key page of your site and see how it behaves. While we are waiting for it, I show you the previous performance test that I run that I had run. Yeah. Now you can see the my performance test six that I created previously. That will show the all the result. And it show that twenty four k two and hundred percent is successful, but one percent is very maybe it caused by a uh, internal issue. Or, uh, or another one. And uh, this test part, it also show the performance under load. The time is from a one point three two second response to average response time in zero point six four. It show that the response time is the user can the response immediately and faster and faster. That's all for today's presentation. You. That's all for today's presentation. You will see a slide. You may find my the tutorial from my slide share, my blog, or channel nine, and with Microsoft Watcher Academy. Thank you for your today. I would like to have a feedback from you all. Thank you.